Hey guys. Welcome to week 100 <laughs> of Flipping the Farm. Triple digits. Yeah, it's been 100 weeks. I cannot believe it. It's kind of gone by quickly, I guess. It has for us, maybe not for you guys, but we were thinking about waiting until 104 for a two year anniversary, but we're like, you know, we're, we've, we've got done most of the things that uh, we wanted to get done for you guys to see. And this episode, Karen has done a great job kind of going back and remembering some of our favorite moments. Um, there's a lot of funny things. There's um, not really sad things, just like, I guess, um, memorable moments or our favorite moments or me laughing at him a lot. So just wanted to share those things. Yeah, everybody with you. does that. As you're watching these next few moments, if you remember those things happening in the video, drop us a comment about it. Or if you have a favorite memory while watching, drop that below. Uh, keep watching. We've got some news we're going to share with you here in a little bit. So you just have to watch to wait, hear it, and find out. I'm sure if you've been following along from our week one vlog, you will remember the chaos that we stepped into here at the farm. This was one of our very first times coming over and looking at it and just being completely overwhelmed by what we saw. I mean, you guys, we instantly knew that this is what we wanted to take on and could see so much potential here and just actually started seeing our future home here. And, you know, we've told you many times before, we had so many people telling us that we should just bulldoze it and start fresh. But we said absolutely not. Um, this is going to be our future home, our forever home, and we cannot wait to grab it by the reins and get started with it. Um, just looking at it and looking back, we have zero regrets, you guys. This is just exactly what we wanted, what we dreamed, what we um, had always saw ourselves doing and we could not be happier with the way it turned out. And it really only took 294 days to get this in livable condition. And we have just loved every single minute of it. And we're just really looking forward to showing you some of the great moments. And I hope that you guys enjoy what you're about to see. So many amazing things had already happened at this point, and you're not even getting to see all of that, but it all started with our good friends, Kelly and Rhonda, being huge helpers and encouragers. Tell us what you got, man, man. I got a, let me lower my voice for just a minute there. <laughs> I got me a manly man, 20 inch Echo 50cc. <laughs> Gonna knock some trees down. <laughs> I know we showed you guys a lot of this back in week 52 in our before and after video, but I just have to remind you because again, it is so mind blowing to us even looking back on this and just thinking that, oh my wow, we are going to live here. This is going to be our dream home and guys, so much sweat, blood, tears, prayer, everything went into this home and just the end results still boggle and blow our minds each and every day. I think one of the huge selling points for us was this amazing patio. Just envisioning ourselves sitting out on the front porch in rocking chairs, watching our future grandbabies rip and romp, maybe sitting around a patio fire, sipping coffee, enjoying life with friends, and just living our best life here on the farm. Want to show me your goose egg? I got a boo boo. Turn your head. Oh my. You got a goose egg. Tree branch. I wasn't there to pull them away. You didn't wait for me. Yeah. So, just had my first injury and my finger is smashed. The gate fell over and there was a brick there. My hand got caught between it. Yeah. 
very, very painful. You're not gonna see my face because I have been shedding tears. So a few painful memories and then crazy memories such as a satellite dish that we didn't even realize was there until we started cutting down trees. This right here is by far one of Mike's most favorite memories. He got up in the attic area to start knocking that ceiling down and oh my wow you guys, the animal feces and disgust was unbelievable and I was not here that day so he was recording and when he came home that day and was telling me all about it, I was completely grossed out and so incredibly happy that I was not actually there for this because it was simply disgusting. Fires, oh my wow. Fires, fires, and more fires. I wish I had kept track of how many fires we actually burned here, you know, due to cutting down trees and cleaning out fence lines and just old things that we needed to burn. A ridiculous amount of fires happened on this place. Okay, look what's about to happen. My studio door entrance into the magic place where Karen does all of her creativity and <laughs> ideas and incredible stuff. So it's the creation Whoa! station about to happen. Karen Basket DIY studio door happening now. This is actually the exterior door that we're showing you here and that was a lot of fun just getting to um, knock down walls. This was, of course, a very exciting day when we got the walls up to close the patio area in for our spare room. And buried treasures are a real thing here at the farm. We constantly found things. And for instance, right here, I found like a 14-foot chain buried in the ground. And we can't forget about our ridiculousness. When things went our way and good things happened, it caused us to do happy dances, and I am so incredibly grateful for these moments. They really, truly make me happy looking back on them. This was definitely an oh my wow moment. There was a fork in the tree. How long had that even been there? We just went to Brahms and got lunch, and we both love their strawberry poppy seed grilled chicken salads. They're and really it, good. it comes with Mike's absolute favorite a side order of cottage cheese. <laughs> tell, them <how> you, <laughs> tell them how you really feel about it. And we can't forget Mike's near-death experience with a chainsaw, ladder, and fence. Guys, he's laying across a fence. He caught himself. He shoved the chainsaw off to the side. And he just got right back up like the Energizer Bunny and kept on going. This right here is just a small glimpse of the overgrowth, the trees that had grown through cattle panels. We couldn't even keep up with how many cattle panels we removed off the place. And then the stump grinder, the day that we rented the stump grinder, we did this for countless hours because we only had it for a limited time. Yeah, it's the last nail. Yeah. That only took what? Three months? Three months. In fact, we just talked to our cement guy and it's the same one that did the concrete cement work for the plumbing. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> this goes on the blooper reel. Blooper, what's Giggle. up? Hey guys, look, this is so exciting. We got these brand new windows and they customized them. And this is 24 inches wide and this is 36 inches. And this is 24 inches wide and 54 inches. So it's Wrong. 18 inches too oh long. Oh my goodness. And it'll take us six weeks to get another one. So I may have to just cut it out and make it work. So. Mm. Really exciting mm, news mm, to mm. get the windows and then not be the right ones. Yeah, that, See, that, that oh there. my wow. 
Which I don't think would look bad. I, I'm not. <sighs> I told y'all I wanted to scream. I really want to scream. We obviously had to keep it fun and not take everything too serious. Days like getting the garage completely cleaned out, our friends coming and helping bring sheetrock in, getting drywall sheetrock up in the loft, oh, that was quite the chore. We hired out having the drywall hung and thank the Lord we did that because that would have been just a huge undertaking and we were completely out of energy at some points. This was a super exciting day when we got primer on the walls. Yeah, it was just primer, but you guys, that was a milestone for us, for sure. Who remembers the hay twine? Well, we're not out of the woods because we're still finding buried hay twine to this day. Let there be light. This was a very exciting day, as you see. Okay, so today I get to be the one to surprise Mike because, you know, I told you that I thought that he knew that the cement crew was coming today to do the patio. Well, he must have totally forgot because he just called me and he's on his way back here. He's like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm sitting on the porch. And he's like, what the heck? It's really hot out. Why are you still there? Well, I've cleaned my car out. I've put some trash out. I've done some things, taken lots of pictures and videos of them doing the patio, but I did not tell him that. Um, but he's on his way back, so he's gonna be really surprised when he pulls up and sees them back there working. So I will definitely video that for you. Ow! Did you know? <laughs> what? You goofball. I've been like excited to surprise you because I thought you forgot. The hardy board siding and the board and batten, just monotonous work that felt like it would never end. What, what the heck? We're in here doing flooring and Mike notices something in the corner. I'm about to freak out. What the heck? Where did this come from? When? I think we ended up finding a total of seven snakes that came in through our cabinet boxes. Yikes. And flooring installation was definitely a milestone moment and just gave it the cozy, homey feeling that we were looking forward to. Exterior paint, oh my wow, you guys. Talk about major changes. When we got the exterior primer on, it was incredibly bright white. I think the neighbors might have been thinking, what in the world is going on here? Karen's giving me a break. Let me take a rest. Are you slow? What do you mean? Am I going too slow or is that a good speed? I think it's a good speed. I know we hopped around at times from outdoors to indoors, but it definitely gave us the sunshine breaks that we needed to make it through. Did you hear that? We have toilets! Here we are spraying our doors and shiplap inside of Curry and Braden's future home at the time. And that was just a blessing in disguise right there, being able to do that indoors and not be out in the dust and dirt. And then getting that shiplap feature wall up was by far one of my favorite moments because this is something that I had envisioned from day one. The very first time we stepped foot in the house, we could totally see this. You guys, look 
how beautiful this shower is. Oh my goodness. I remember on this very day, the overwhelming sense of gratitude, gratefulness, and joy hitting me. And then the very next day, we had some really super frustrating things happen. I had to go sit in the bathroom, eat chips and salsa, and talk it out with you guys and remind myself how blessed we truly were. And then the next thing you know, our cabinets are being installed. We're mopping the floors and preparing for this. Guess what today is? Move-in day! Woo! Almost 10 months in the making, you guys. This is so. really exciting. Um, it's also December 1st, so it's Weston's first birthday. So fun things all around today. So. This was the first night we spent in the house. And of course, having our first cup of coffee the next morning was absolutely amazing. And all the hard work was definitely worth the wait. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw, the fun times, the crazy times, uh, the crazy guy. <laughs> I'm quite I, fortunate I'm still alive from yeah. some of the dumb things I did. His uh, head injury, falling on the fence, my finger, all those things, craziness. So a lot of sweat, blood, and hard work and tears went into this place. So now then we want to show you a few of our um, emotional moments, I guess you would say. What would you call them? Highlights. Highlights. Life is highlights. It's not just what we see here, it's what we've left behind. It's a legacy of, of people, you know, and our family and growing and, and all that kind of cool stuff. And yeah. so it's, it's some good stuff. Yep, very cool Absolutely. moments. Lots of lots of fun, cool, exciting moments, highlights like mine. We really should have described them as life events, such as becoming grandparents for the first time to sweet baby Weston. And then our daughter getting married and actually building props for her wedding here on the farm and gaining our son-in-law Brayden. And then just shortly after that, finding out that Curry and Brayden are having a baby girl. And then just a few short weeks later, Hunter and Zoe personally delivering the news here at the farm that they are expecting a baby. You guys, so many exciting moments. And then finding out that theirs is a girl as well. And Colby and Alyssa moving back from Texas. And us having our first Christmas here together at the farm, and then getting to meet baby Greenlee and baby Hallie, and then finding out that we're getting another grandbaby, number four, and it's going to be a boy, and that was baby Bodie Jack. Guys, our life has been full of blessing after blessing in just a few short years, and we can't even wait to see what God has in store for us in the future. I can definitely tell you that these grandbabies have rocked our world and have brought us so much joy, and and I don't think we understood how that was going to happen until it actually happened. We definitely feel incredibly blessed and have loved sharing with you. And we don't want you to think our life is full of butterflies and rainbows constantly. We do have down times and discouraging moments, but we try to focus on the positive. Pretty cool memories. Uh, I don't know. Of course, you know, you're not necessarily part of our family in the sense of being blood, but I know that many of you have have said how much you appreciate uh, that, that we've welcomed you into our world and, and we feel that same way. And so I don't know if you remember some of those memories or not, but that, those are pretty cool. Yeah, so we've really enjoyed sharing our life with you over the last 100 weeks and we truly appreciate you being there every Saturday to support us and watch us. Um, so many of you have left us super encouraging comments and we have said it before that we couldn't have made it through. Ooh some of our times here flipping the farm without you guys encouraging us because it was difficult some days to wake up and come over here and just work, work, work. And I know we've said, you know, we didn't work here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We took a lot of breaks, but still just kind of being homeless at one time. We were never homeless. We had great friends that took us in. Oh, absolutely. But just kind of not knowing each and every day, like, oh my goodness, when is this gonna get done? Or just waiting on HVAC or plumbing. Windows! Or electric or <laughs> windows, which the laundry room turned out to be a blessing in disguise, as you all know. Yeah, worked out. Yeah. Worked out way So, um, anyways, I don't know why that made me so emotional, but it did. Um, we so appreciate you all. Um, your Saturday mornings with us, or us with you, ever how you want to look at it, have been so fun. And again, we truly, truly appreciate all your support. Yep, encouraging words and, and, and encouraging uh, prayers and, 
just knowing that there's a, a, a bunch of folks that we've never met that we that maybe we will one of these days but uh, anyway but there's there's something more coming and, and I don't even know the full extent of all this stuff but uh, you know she's the expert on this but she'll let you know about the kind of the next chapter all right so like I said this may be the final week of flipping the farm but because so many of you have um, voice that you're really sad to see it go. Um, I've kind of decided that I really enjoy talking to a camera. I think I enjoy talking to a camera more than I do talking to people face to face. I don't know. I'm not super outgoing. <laughs> um, he's the outgoing Mr. Social can stand in front of a crowd and talk. I cannot do that. So I have decided, or we have decided, <laughs> it's probably more me than him, that we are gonna continue a vlog. And so you're probably gonna see it pop up here on the screen at the top somewhere. And I would love for you to stop right now and click on that wherever it is and subscribe to our new channel. And it is going to be called M and K Vlogs. That's the name of our new vlog or Mike Karen Vlogs. So it's gonna be at the top and linked down in the description below. And I really, really would love for you to go subscribe. So this is basically gonna be a channel where you see, I mean, you have been seeing our weekly life, but this is just gonna be a bit more whatever goes kind of thing. Um, not so much projects. That's still gonna continue here on the Karen Basket DIYer channel. Tutorials, DIYs, things like that will still be here, but the new channel will have just kind of our life. If you want to keep up with us, fine. If not, fine too. You don't have much else better to do, do you? I don't. <laughs> so, um, you know, for instance, Curry and I- Just kidding. Curry just and I kidding. had a great outing today. It would have been a great vlog, so stuff like that. Um, I, may take, I may take you to the bowling alley one of these yeah. days and, and show you some uh, bowling tips or something. Who yeah, knows? Just, That'd be kind of fun. just the things that we do more so outside of the farm. Um, obviously, family, travel, which we haven't got to do a lot of that lately, and I'm really bummed. But, um, you know, and there will probably be some other things that we're going to share with you guys over there. Um, some things that are happening right now in our lives that will probably come out on there too. So um, anyways, lifestyle vlog type thing. But anyways, we've we've loved every minute of this. Mm -hmm. I, I know that I um, just really have enjoyed sharing with you all. I think he has too. And I think our biggest thing is that we hope and pray that you have seen Jesus through us somehow, some way in this vlog. That's, that's just our biggest thing. It's life goal. Yeah. Always life goal. Just be the light and be the salt. And uh, I know there's a lot of good Christian folks that watch this. And there's some folks that have incredibly good hearts. And I've, I've tried to say at the end of every one, God bless. And we do hope that God blesses your life. And that uh, if you don't know him, I hope you will learn to know him better. Uh, there's so much hope and so much of a future in knowing uh, the Father and what Jesus has done for us. And, and I, I really hope that you have the opportunity to uh, to get to know him better. And if you're even anywhere near close, uh, come by and visit Open Door sometime. It's a wonderful group of people who really love the Lord and uh, try and just do life together. So uh, we appreciate you very much. And uh, I'll, I'll end with my God bless. Yeah, so again, um, thank you guys so much. You can still like, subscribe, share, comment right here. Um, if you have friends that enjoy house renovation projects, DIYs, um, tutorials, things like that, share this with them. Share our vlog, share my tutorials and DIYs, all those things. So thank you all so much for being with us for 100 weeks. We Take love care. you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Bye-bye. So we really do look forward to hanging out with you over on our new channel, MNK Vlogs. If you haven't yet stopped and subscribed, you can do that right here by clicking on the link that you see here on the screen. Thanks again for watching. We love you guys.